Hello everybody and welcome Welcome back everybody to another ga gameplay video on, by Jeffrey Bartholdt. Today Today I'm play, playing World of Warplanes and, to, and today And today I'll be piloting, piloting the Goldfinch If that's how you pronounce it right The Gloucester Goldfinch Before we get started, let's, le let's learn more about this plane Wiki loves my Gloucester Goldfinch. From Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia. Goldfinch. Role. Single seat fighter. National origin. United Kingdom. Manufacturer. Gloucester Aircraft Company. Designer. HP Falland. First flight. Summer 1927. Number built. 1. The Gloucester Goldfinch was a single-engine, single-seat, high-altitude biplane fighter of all-metal construction from the later 1920s. It did not reach production and only one was built. Contents Development Edit In January 1926 the Air Ministry funded Gloucester Aircraft to produce an all-metal version of their Gamecock for a high-altitude fighter role, hence requiring a supercharged engine. The result was the Goldfinch a single bay biplane with unequal span wings of marked stagger. Unsurprisingly, this aircraft had a strong similarity to the Gamecock and in particular to the Gamecock 2 with its narrow cord ailerons. Because of the supercharged engine the fuselage was longer forward of the cockpit. The tail also was slightly different, the tail plane having rounded trailing tips and the fin, initially, was very broad in cord and short in height 1-2. Only one goldfinch was built but there were two rather different versions. The first build had all metal wings but a fuselage of mixed metal and wood construction. Both the wings and fuselage were fabric covered. The fuselage was then rebuilt entirely of metal, apart from its covering and lengthened. The rebuild also brought a revised fin and rudder, with a narrower, higher fin of simpler overall shape 3 throughout. The Goldfinch was powered by a supercharged 450 HP, 335 kilowatts. Bristol Jupiter VIIF driving a 9 feet 2.74 meters two-blade fixed-pitch propeller 1-2. The Goldfinch first flew in May 1927 4, and in December it went to RAF Martel Shamheath for trials where it proved fast and high with a rapid climb rate, 1 and generally good maneuverability, although spinning behavior was substandard 5 Gloucesters submitted it as a contender for Air Ministry specification F.9-26 for an all-metal day and night fighter, but it failed to meet the required load and fuel requirements and was eliminated quite early. The Bristol Bulldog was the eventual winner 1-2 with the Goldfinch being used for trials at Martel Shamheath until, until, until October 1928-6. Specifications Edit Edit Data from James 1971, P-148 General Characteristics Crew, 1 Length 22 feet 3 in, 6.7 m. Wingspan, 30 feet 0 in, 9.14 m. Height, 10 feet 6 in, 3.19 m. Wing area, 274.3 square feet 25.56 square meters. Empty weight, 2,058 pounds 933 kilograms. Gross weight, 3,236 pounds 1,467 kilograms. Power plant, 1 times Bristol Jupiter VIIF 9-cylinder supercharged radial, 450 HP, 335 kilowatts. Performance. Maximum speed, at 10,000 feet 3,048 meters 172 miles per hour 276 kilometers per hour. Service ceiling. 26,960 feet 8,217 meters. Rate of climb, to 20,000 feet 6,096 meters 1,250 feet per minute, 6.35 m slash s. Armament. 2 times synchronized 0.303 in, 7.7 millimeters, Vickers machine guns firing forward. Notes edit. Carrot ABCD James 1971, pages 145 to 8. Carrot ABC Flight October 4, 1928. Carrot Flight October 4, 1928. The G slash drawings show the early fin and the photographs the later arrangement. 
Jared 1997, pages 48 to 49. Jared 1997, p 50. Jared 1997, p 51. References edit. Wikimedia Commons has media related to Gloucester. James, Derek N., 1971. Gloucester Aircraft Since 1917. London, Putnam Publishing. ISBN 0-370-00084-6. Jared, Philip. Limited Editions Gloucester Goldfinch. Aeroplane Monthly. No. January 1997. London, ISBN 0 370 london ipc Pages 46 to 51. The Gloucester Goldfinch. Flight. Number 4 October 1928. Number 4 October 1928. Pages 845 to 849. Hyde. V. Interesting, right? That's his history. Not much of a history, if you ask me. So. The Gloucester Goldfinch in World of Warplanes is a multi-role fighter, a Tier 1, and only needs one pilot. Developed in early 1926 as an all-metal version of the Gamecock fighter, never entered service, as mentioned before. So, here are the pro... So here, I think these are the pro pros. Machine gun armament effective in close combat. Effective in low altitude combat and in destroying small amount of ground targets. Can carry small bombs. Here, here are the cons. Low survivability, low airspeed, weak boost. And I don't know what this is. High maneuverability and and, it, and I think it has high and it has high maneuverability in horizontal turns. So. Now that we got that out of the way, let's get, shall we get, shall we get started? Let's get ready for battle. Convert Connaissance Trial by Fire Player Battle. I don't even know how. I don't care how long this takes. I'm gonna. And, uh, and for the record, I'm only doing one battle. And for the record, I'm only doing one battle. I just hope I got my skills haven't gotten rust. I just hope my skills haven't gotten rusty. Let's try again. I'm not giving up with this aircraft, though. Attention! You are entering the combat zone! Oh. Get ready oh. for battle! Good luck! Capture and hold... But, well, what do you know? Just As soon as I click it, it just enter, I enter the battle. Destroy enemy enemy or neutral area air on ground targets in, in your sector capture it. multi multi fighter of the Glen Goldfinch. Engage in low and mid altitude maneuver combat. Destroy AA guns with alpha outboard weapons, defend your sector from enemy. Oh. That's my con main mode conquest. Show me what you can do, pilots. Let's roll.
Find that in range of the plane. There it is. Lead the target, lead the target. Ah, ah! Get him. Oh, darn it. Lost my one. What the? How strange is this kid? Can you kick me out for a second there? Wait. Oh shoot, I'm outnumbered. I'm outgunned, I can't. I'm outgunned. I can't take. Whoops. Maybe I can now. Got him. Yeah, that's three. Whoo. Did that guy just come kamikaze to me? Whoa, what the heck just happened? Yeah! There goes another one! Yeah! Woo! Oh no you don't. And kill after kill. I'm kidding. Kill after kill here. Woohoo! Did I get him? No, I missed. Ooh. Oh crap! Darn it! Oh man, that was that was bad.
That was bad. <laughs> I thought it was kind of embarrassing. Man. It's five, four, three, two, one. Oh, sorry. Receiving reports about rapidly deteriorating weather conditions. The port will be unable to reach you. Do you read me? Over. Copy that, sir. Let's put that squall line in. I won't be able to. I won't be able to get it, any more reinforcements. Yeah, come on. I got your back. There's a heavy storm here. Unable to proceed. Return into base. Do you copy? Roger that. It's like we're on our own now. Yeah! Got that fighter off your back. Now for this one. That's the dangers of biplanes. If you get shot down, you're as good as dead. Ooh. Ooh, that was close. We almost said. <laughs> Be advised, the enemy is concentrating forces near the airfield. Yeah! Another one down. Yes! I'm almost like the I'm almost like the demon lord of the round table. Release comp. Wait a minute. Yeah! Good job, Teamy. Oh, you don't. Come on. Ah! Darn it! Close! Oops, someone's shooting at me. There. Almost all enemy aircraft are destroyed. Ramming attack destroyed enemy aircraft. Holy cow, I survived the ramming. Man, I really am a, like a demon. <laughs> and I can, I can really do good well in the Air Force. There it goes. Hang in there. The main thing now is to retain the initiative. Man, I'm a, I'm a dem, I am a demon lord. I'm proud of you, 
Pilots, yes! Yeah. Look at that flying start. Hunt for Stormbird. Hunt for Falcon. Best result grade three multi role fighter. And I got number one ranking combat group. A Johnson Metal Class v Four. I destroyed 20, 20 enemy aircraft from the young and dark. Just look at that personal points. Wow. <laughs> and we were, and we almost closed the loss. We're losing. Yeah, baby. Mission complete. Trial by fire. Great start. You have fought your first burial battle. More, many more to. Many more feats await. Award. Let's see. Capture points received. 222. Earn capture points for destroying air defense aircraft, enemy aircraft, and ground targets when attacking. When attacking sectors. Progress. You know, man. 200, 220, 250 on sectors captured. Flying start. Awarded for destroying at least three aerial targets in the first sortie. The count is reset if the player's aircraft destroys fewer than three aerial targets before being destroyed. Hunt for Stormbird. Awarded for destroying at least four attack aircraft from the enemy com combat group in a single battle and winning the battle. Available once for each aircraft in the hangar. Hunt for the Falcon. Awarded for destroying at least six multi-role fighters from the enemy combat group in a single battle and winning the battle. Available once for each air aircraft in a Best results. Grade 3 multi-role fighter. An aircraft type grade indicates the effectiveness of a player uh, player's actions in aircraft of a certain type. Successful completion of type specific mission results in grade prom promotion. Promotion. Motion. Great. The same gray grade is assigned to all aircraft of the same type. Aircraft of different types have different mission and different grades. How aircraft grades are assigned, the blue segment indicates the progress towards complete completing a mission on a scale from one to five. The total number of all segments can correspond to a certain aircraft grade type grade. Two, three, two, six. Net. Progress ten out of nine. Two hundred twenty. Rank and com rank and combat group indicates the player player's performance compared to other players of a, of the combat group. Depends on their aircraft type grade. Aircraft with the same grade are compared using the number of personal points earned. And I got the Johnson Metal Class 4. Awarded for destroying at least 20 aircraft from the Army Combat Group. Historical note, James Edgar Johnson was a British fighter pilot and the highest scoring British ace who served in World War II. In 1940 to 1944, he flew 500, 515 combat missions in the Spitfire and scored 334 individual and sh seven shared aerial victories. Order C. Man, 393 were so close. We almost we almost lost it. And it only took 10 minutes and 34 seconds to do this. Look at that. Holy crap, I got the highest. <laughs> this guy got the highest too. But I didn't get more than this. <laughs> I am something else. I am something else. Aircraft is plus. Look at this. <laughs> Destroy when defending. Oh, I got way more than I guess. Man. <laughs> That's got to be probably my best performance yet. Maybe. I don't know. Now let's do something about this. Oh. Darn it. Well, I got this. I know that. That was so incredible. Damn. Ah! Oh. 
<laughs> I really am a demon lord. I should have been. I should have renamed my. I should have renamed myself the Demon Lord. Or something. Bad. Did you get enough? Did you get enough to look at say, all this? Okay. I think that's an I think that's enough. Oh look at that. Aerial battle. Now I got a new combat reconnaissance. Aerial battle. Let's review the basics of aerial combat GB ten twenty nine. Get on the tail, approach the target, and shoot slightly ahead of the target. That's what that's what they call leading the target. Destroy one or more enemy enemy aircraft. And this is how you do it. W to boost, S to deceler deceleration, A to roll left, D to roll right, left left mouse button is the fire, F sniper mode, Alt more target, Alt is more target info. Tip: Watch the vi watch the video and the s and the slideshow in the game info menu. Why not? Actually. Why not? Change the direction of your aircraft. Simply move the cursor to, to where you want to. The aircraft will perform maneuver automatically. Press W to activate boost and accelerate. But remember, this will. That, that this. Oh. That this heats up the engine. Use boost to catch up with or shake off an enemy aircraft. Decrease throttle by pressing S to match your speed with the speed of the target. And not overtake it, allowing more time for firing or performing a sharp maneuver. Hold the left mouse button to fire with your forward firing arm. Auto cannon heat up when firing. Overheating significantly reduces the rate of and accuracy of fire. When firing, lead the target. Avoid fire directly. Avoid fire directly at an enemy aircraft because it is changing its position while rounds are being fired towards it. If your aircraft has a defensive turret, press T. Press T to control it manually. In turn control mode, you can deal deal twice as much damage, including critical damage. Escape fire maneuver, maneuver dodge with flying nimble aircraft. Or try to disengage by boosting. That looks like a if available on your aircraft, bombs can be dropped by pressing B or spacebar. Rockets can be launched by pressing R. When flying a bomber, press shift to switch to bomb to the bomb site mode. Those are the basics. For more details, go to the game website or forum. Good luck in the skies, pilot. See this now let's see the slideshow. 
Welcome to the skies of World of Warplanes, pilots. This guide contains all the essential information you need during you need during battle. To open the guide again, click about the game about the game guide in the upper left in the upper left panel of the hangar. Also, you can find you can find Also, you can find the guide in the game the game menu. Here it is, right there. Here. Hangar. Explore your hangar. Hangar. This is the main screen screen of the game where you can where you view all your aircraft, research and purchase new aircraft, mount equipment and consumables, etc. Press F1 to see tips on the main interface elements. <coughs> Manage account, purchase premium account, tokens, game info, view tokens, game info, view special special specials and missions. Here, that's two. Here too. Go to hangar, research aircraft, depot, depot, view statistics, settings. Home screen, resupply ammunition, upgrades, wait, configure aircraft, customize exterior, crew, custom, crew, get gold, exchange gold for credits, convert experience, aircraft specifications, filter, Filter your aircraft. Select an aircraft in the hangar. Gather a unit for battle. Start battle. Wait. Oh, 22 right here. Gather a unit for battle right there. Start battle. Select a type, battle type, and game mode. View your contact list, manage channel lists, chat, view notifications. Aircraft. Go to the tech tree tab in the hangar to view all the aircraft that exist in the game. There are more than 250 aircraft of the golden era from tier 1 to 10 at your disposal. Start with tier 1 aircraft of any of any of the five nations and soon you'll be able to research and discover each unique aircraft on the tech tree tab. First battle. Complete the combat. Complete the combat reconnaissance campaign to learn the basic combat controls. After completing it, you get a nice reward of 1,000 in game gold. To start your first battle, watch video tutorials on game basics. Pilots, get ready for action. Let's go. We have complete First, control of the skies. First, by the gun, meter at the top go. of the screen. I'm proud of you, pilot. Head back home. For that purpose, capture and hold sectors. The airfield is ours. Utilize this advantage. The location of sectors is shown on a map. Press tab. Destroy ground and aerial targets within a sector to capture it. Blue markers indicate your allies and sectors controlled by your team. White markers, neutral forces, and red markers, enemy aircraft. If your aircraft has been destroyed, you can return to the same battle after a few seconds. You can even respond in a different aircraft. If your team currently controls the airbase sector, 
sector th the sector earns three influence influential influence points every five seconds for the for the team control net. Some sector provide unique advantages. Our military base is launching strikes on the enemy. This will make things easier for you. You can view you their details by hovering over sector icons on the battle loading screen. The second and way to achieve victory no way to break you now. is You're by destroying all enemy aircraft during the, the in-battle squall line event. Once this event starts, aircraft cannot respond anymore. Head back home. Good luck in the skies, pilot. Okay, select an aircraft in the bottom bottom panel of the hangar and click battle. We'll discuss this later. I might, I got a little overboard with that. All right. Next, the next aircraft I'm gonna do is the, the next aircraft. The next aircraft I'm doing is the is this one. Isn't the next aircraft? I'm, but that's for another. But that's for another video. Wait. Oh, the flag's changed. Did you see that? Amazing. But that's for another video. Anyway. Thanks for... But anyway. Thanks for watching this video. Now don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video slash play playlist. If you, if you do one of them or manage to do them all, which includes watching this video slash playlist again, I would really appreciate it. But until but until then, let's get airborne, aim high, and fly, fight, win in the skies on World of Warplanes. See you there.